Well, it's been a long time between drinks for Priscilla director Stephen Elliott. Two less than successful features followed and then a skiing accident literally stopped him in his tracks. He's been seduced back behind the camera by the idea of adapting a 1920s Noel Coward play, Easy Virtue, to the screen. Jessica Biel stars as Loretta, a racy woman of her time, a Grand Prix driver, a widow who embraces life. When, on a whirlwind romance, she marries John Ben Barnes, his county upper-crossed family, namely his mother, Mrs Whittaker, Kristen Scott Thomas, is distinctly po-faced about the whole affair. Fair, your poor mother. How long are we staying? A few days. I shoulder the shortcomings of this family for generations, and what do I get in return? A few days. And look at her. What am I supposed to do with the bauble of a woman? Hang her. I think she's splendid. Oh, do you, Hilda? Well, we can all relax. She's not what I expected. She's exactly what I expected. Well, surely not exactly. She wasn't drunk. Oh, very funny, Jim. Reduce this to the burlesque. She looks so expensive. Very. Mm. I like her. Yes, Jim. We all know what you like. Mother! But John's father, Colin Firth, is less dismayed. In fact, this man, embittered by his experiences in oh, World War I, quite likes the eruption into his household of this vibrant creature. <laughs> Well, it's, 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 it's magnificent. It's monstrous. It's me. I posed for a young Spaniard, don't you? Absolutely adore it. Very expressive, darling, but I can't quite see you in it. Well, you'd see everything else. You actually took your clothes off in front of a total stranger. Don't be a buffoon, Marion. Of course she took her clothes off. Well, I think it's unholy. To be honest, Larry, I'm not sure I approve of you being nude. You know, without, without, without me. Extraordinary. What exactly are you hoping to achieve? Just trying to get into the swing of things, Mother. Marvellous. <laughs> the surprise of this film is how well Jessica Biel matches her stalwart British co-stars. She's beautiful and, more importantly, she's talented. She is delicious. It's potentially a creaky old yarn, but Elliot, working with screenwriter Sheridan Jobbins, has imbued the film with an energy and a beauty that is beguiling. They've altered the acerbic nature of the original to give Mrs Whittaker a poignancy that gives her snobby bitches, bitchiness a context. Snuffed mutts riding to hounds American style, a secretly rebellious butler played by Chris Marshall, all add to the fun of this romantic farce. Needless to say, the performances of the Brits are tops. I haven't seen the silent version directed by Alfred Hitchcock, but I bet David has. <laughs> yes, I have, actually. Oh, I thought you might. Um, it's not one of Alfred Hitchcock's best films. <laughs> I, I, I think it's very difficult to do Noel Coward <laughs> in a silent movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because so much uh, depends, obviously, on the dialogue. Noel Coward wrote this when he was 24 years old, and, and uh, it's, um, it's got some very smart dialogue, I think, and, and uh, I think uh, Stephen Elliott's done a, a good job with this. I think it is a little bit thin and a little bit creaky, perhaps, but, but still the cast, as you say, Jessica Biel is, is terrific, and, and once or twice I laughed out loud, and I don't do that very often these days in the cinema. Oh, you sold sourpuss. Well, it, it, it takes a lot to make me laugh, but I did, I did, enjoy, I enjoyed this film. Yeah. yeah, I think it's, I think he's done a really good job directing and it. And also, as you say, there's a, there is a bit of an edge to it with, with the, the Colin Firth character, um, which gives you a lot more insight into the way the rest of them... And I like the music he's used as well. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious choices of music. Well, not really, it's not of, of the time. I mean, he's... Well, well, some of it's Noel Coward. Some of it's Noel Coward. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. He's tweaked a bit. But I, I still like it. I'm giving it four stars. I thought it was totally enjoyable. It's very nice. I'm giving it three and a half. It's awfully dispiriting. We have absolutely no privacy here. Well, I've never needed any privacy before. This is my home. It's not mine. And I very much want one. We're all alone. No chaperone. Can get our number. The world's a slumber. Let's miss being. Timing is everything, you little brute. Come. Umpire, at least, Philip is pining for you. If I knew you played tennis, I never would have signed that marriage certificate! <laughs> the piece was written in 1925. It was. Brutal. It is an absolute brutal piece of work. The first thing I did was on first reading it was how 
how cutting and cruel it was. I mean, Coward was at his cockiest at that point. He'd had a couple of hits and he decided to let Mother England have it. And uh, I was scared by that. And the first, the first thing we had to do was lighten this up. So there's an element of screwball, which I brought very much with me, and Sheridan and I and myself toned it right down. We actually gave, gave it some hope. There's definitely some hope. I don't like period movies. I walk, see those films and it's like walking into museums. You know, everything's this beautiful, pristine thing. And whilst we're actually hunting for locations, it's life imitates art. Those big old houses, those people are struggling. They're dying out there. There's a lot of all this which we wrote into the film. They don't have the money. The houses are all national trusts. They can't afford to touch anything. So what they become is these heaps. And then film crews come along and basically put nice couches in and clean them all up. We walked in this house and it was an absolute dump. And I said, do not touch a thing. He said, what about... I said, no, 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 just leave the house. It's perfect. And there's a really nice juxtaposition within the film of seeing this absolute crumbling, faded glory. I mean, we had curtains ripping down and we had real great fun. That was a vi for visually, for me, it was a hoot. And then you've got Jessica's Lorita, who's shiny and new and wonderful, standing out late, and I like, like a shaft of gold. The original play, Lorita walked in, she hated absolutely everybody, she took no prisoners and she walked out hating everybody. We've actually got to really trying to make an effort to make a go of this and then she lets it go. Well, she promised she'd write. <laughs> I think she's fantastic in it, you know. She's um, astonishing, you know that moment, like, you know when it's on set, it took a while, it took a while for on set for her to get confident. It took a while for Kristen to get used to the fact that she was playing the ugly older woman. And about day seven, everybody clicked. And at that point, it was just fireworks. I mean, you know, turn the camera and step out of the way. Who do you think you are? Swinging your wherewithal like a cat on heat. If you really want to be of assistance, Larita, I think you know what's required. Right. For the first read, we always do a cold read. When you've got a script, you sit all your actors down with all your investors and you read through the script. And we got up to this moment, Colin's booming and Ben's showing off and Kristen's being enormous. We got to Jessica and she went, <laughs> squeaky noises. And I'm like looking at her like that, saying, what's that? She was so totally and utterly intimidated by what she was facing. And she walked out and she said, I'm terrified. And I said, use it. Great, this is who you are. You're this strange American girl on your own in the middle of this British establishment. Use it. And then I was a bit nervous. And then Colin turned around to me after the lead and said, she's going to steal the movie. The ones who in the reeds give nothing are the ones who walk away with the movie. And about a week in, he said, I was just so. <laughs> that was Stefan Elliott talking about his film Easy Virtue, which opens tomorrow around the country.